South Columbus Public Library. Today I'm going to show you how to make a piñata that you can use at your birthday parties or just to have fun at home. Okay, so the items that you're going to need are a walnut balloon. You're going to need some ribbon which will be used for the thighs. You're going to need some newspapers and then you'll just rip them into strips. Okay, the other part that you'll need to do is to make the paste for the paper mache. And it's very simple. You're going to take one part water, so here's a cup of water, and to that you're going to add half a, about a half a cup of flour. So you just want to mix that up. So there are no more lumps. It's going to make a paste that you're then going to be able to dip the newspaper strips in to cover the balloon. So you're going to take the strips and you're going to put them in the paper mache paste. And you just want to set it so that it's not real uh, dripping off. And you just You're going to take the strips and you're going to put them in the paste and just wipe off the excess. You want both sides to get the paste on it. And then you're just going to start placing them on the balloon randomly. Great thing to do with kids because they will have a ball. to the point where most of the balloon is covered and for this first layer it's not real important that everything gets covered but what is important in the first layer is that you're going to attach the strings um, underneath the paper mache so that you can hang it okay so we don't paper mache all the way up because this uh, top part once it dries we're going to pop this balloon and that's where you're going to be able to fill your uh, pinata with goodies. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is you want to be able to hang it. So we have some lengths of ribbon. And I'm going to put that right there. Maybe about halfway down. And then I'm going to cover that with strips in this first layer. So to make it a little stronger so when you have it tied up and the kids are hitting it. So just like that. I'm going to put a couple strips over it. And surprisingly enough, this makes a pretty strong layer, even with just one. But you might want to do two layers. It will need to dry maybe 24 hours. Okay, so I have kind of positioned these so that they're on opposite sides and they're right above the hole. You see that ribbon that goes down? And then again, I'm going to cover this side. Right. So you're pretty well on your way now. What we've got to do is let this dry overnight. And you might want to have it on a plate or something to catch. The water will actually kind of flow off of it. So you want to catch the water. I put mine like this inside a cup so that it would stand up and it dried overnight. So now we put the second coat on the balloon and it's pretty sturdy and dry so the very next step is to pop the balloon. Here we go. with the ribbons that you can attach to 
do a tree or another rope. And then the next step is to decorate it. Okay? And what we're going to use to decorate is tissue paper. And you want to cut long strips about this long and about, let's say, maybe three, four inches wide. And you use whatever color scheme you want. I picked these pretty purples in pink and blue. To make these fringes, you can do it the long way, which would be fold it in half and cut on each one of these. And you can make the fringes as wide or as narrow as you want. It'll just give it a little bit different effect. Okay, so that would be going on there. And we're just going to glue these on with regular school glue. Okay. So let me show you a faster way to do these fringes. Okay. We're going to fold it in half. And then fold it in half again to make a quarter. Again, the folds are towards you. So don't go all the way to the edge. So that when you're done, it stays in one piece. And you want to make lots of these, like I did. We've got blues and purples. And the next step would be to glue it onto the pinata. great books from the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries using our curbside service. For more information about curbside service at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, please use the web address below. And happy National Hispanic Latinx Heritage Month!